Welcome back guys. Today we're going to be working on the list dishes uh, part of this video. So whenever you click on a food category, we're going, to, we're going to open up a new page that shows a list of dishes related to that particular category. All right. And bef before we get to that, if you haven't subscribed already, please just take a second, click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. If you can as well, just click on the thumbs up, like, thank you very much. So uh, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do over here is we're going to go over to the custom views and we're going to create a new group that's going to hold a table view cell. Well, oh, this is going to hold all our table view cells. All right. And we're going to create a new group again. And this we're going to call uh, dish list table view cell. And uh, let's go ahead and create that. So command N, click on this, paste this over there. Uh, actually um, dish list and I'm just gonna change this to table view cell and we're also gonna include a nib so go ahead click on next and create awesome so let's go ahead and remove this we don't need that and we're gonna go into our view and this is actually gonna be quite similar to um, our uh, what's it called chef's choice so we're gonna add a UI view right in there all right and this is going to be 10 to the top 16 16 and 10 to the bottom and let's go ahead and remove the background for this guy um, clear I'm going to do the same thing for this guy awesome so this is going to be of type card view and um, yep that's pretty good so now let's add our image view right here now the image view is going to have constraints uh, 16 to the top 16 to the left 16 to the bottom as well and we're going to add um, width and a height of 50 each awesome so let's see what the so three so we're going to need to make this guy about 102 awesome great so next we're gonna add a stack view a vertical stack and this is gonna have top and bottom like this and then we're gonna have 16 to the left and then 16 to the right great so now let's go ahead and add a label we're gonna need two and I'm gonna set the stack view to be Feel equally. I'm actually really tired. So this we're gonna make maybe like 15 should be okay, and we're gonna make this um, system gray. This one we're gonna make it a little bit bolder. Okay. So next we're gonna need to um, connect this guy to the. Um, table view cell class but before then let's actually set the reuse identifier so just click on the table view cell copy that come over here and paste so now we're gonna hold down command shift O and say dish list hold down option click on that to open this guy right here I'm gonna hold down command sorry control click and drag this is going to be dish image view then we have the dish or our, our, uh, title label then we have the description label so also we're gonna make this guy aspect fill and give it a corner radius of 10 perfect so now we can go ahead and implement the setup function so setup and this is gonna take in a dish like that and we're gonna say uh, dish image view dot kf dot set image and this is going to be our dish dot image dot as URL all right then we're gonna have the title label as well dot text this is gonna be equal to dish dot name and then we're gonna have description label the text as dish dot um, description perfect 
So now we can go over to our uh, main.storyboard and actually implement the screen for the list dishes. So head over to main.storyboard. So here, we're going to get over right at the end. <laughs> Man, and we're gonna say um, we're gonna add a UI view controller like this, and um, let's first of all change the background color to you know our I think it should be maybe this guy. Was there a change? I hope so. Let's see it again. Yeah, I believe there was a change. So uh, we're gonna add our table view just like this to this place. Drag it all the way to the bottom and add constraints. Sweet! Alright, so uh, we're gonna need to remove the background color of our table view, so make that clear. And also we don't want to have separators, so I'm just gonna say none. Then that also reminds me in our um, this view, we're gonna click on the table view cell and remove the selection set to, to none. So, so, so when you click on a cell, we don't have like that gray highlight, all right? So yes, we can go back now. And um, all right, so let's actually set our delegate and data source and then connect this guy to a view controller class. So in our view, we're gonna create a new view or a new group. And we're gonna call this list dishes, all right? And then we're going to create a view controller class, say list dishes, view controller, and I'm going to click next and create. Great. Now, right here, first thing we want to do is connect these guys. So go back to the main.storyboard and um, click right here. Head over to the identity inspector and say list dishes. And we're going to have to set that as the storyboard ID as well. So uh, let's make sure that this guy is connected. All right, awesome. So uh, we're done with the main.storyboard. We can actually get into the list dishes view controller. And the first thing we want to do is we want to create our um, dishes array. So I'm just going to say var dishes is going to be of type um, dish array of dishes and this is going to be equal to an array so because I'm extremely lazy I'm just going to go to the home view controller and copy all of these guys right here go back paste so now we have our dishes next we're going to need to register the uh, table view cell because it is not within the table view and I'm in the storyboard so we're going to create a new function we can make that private what funk and this is going to be called um, register cells all right now this is going to be table view oh we haven't created an outlet for that okay so let's go back to the main.storyboard and create an outlet for our table view so i'm just going to bring up the uh, what's it called list dishes go down option press enter then hold down control, click and drag, and say table view. All right, let's go back. Okay, so now we can actually go into our um, register cells function and say dot register nib. And for the nib, we're gonna need to, you know, get the identifier. So we're gonna get back to this place and create a static constant call this identifier and this is going to be I'm just gonna make this a string like that alright so we're gonna go back and here we're gonna do this dot identifier this is gonna be new and this is gonna be this dot identifier again and now we can actually go ahead and implement the delegates and extensions so this is gonna be list dishes and UI table view delegates UI table view data source alright so first we're gonna have the number of rows in section we're gonna return dishes dot count and then for the cell for row at index path we're gonna say let cell be equal to table view 
dot the Q cell with identifier and we're going to paste this and say dot identifier as this and then we're going to return cell then don't forget to set up your cell so this is going to be dishes and take in index path dot row all right now before we can actually see this page we have to you know open up this page whenever um, a particular category is clicked so we're going to go back to the home view controller and then right here we're going to say let controller by the way this is the did select item and uh, at index path so that controller will be equal to this is going to be uh, list dishes dot instantiate and then we're going to have navigation controller dot push controller animated is true all right now also I want to set the title of that particular page to be the name of the category so what I'm going to do is say controller dot category and this is going to be equal to um, categories and index path dot row awesome now we don't have this yet so I'm just gonna go over here and we're gonna create that right at the top so say var this and it's going to be of type dish category and we're sure that this exists so in our viewed load we're gonna need to set the title to be equal to category dot name and we're also gonna need to call register cells now let's go ahead and run this and see what we have so far All right, so we click on a category. We have Africa dish. Oh, Africa dish, African dish. Four, pretty good. All right. So the next thing we want to do is when you click on a particular cell, we want to open up the detail page and populate the detail page, right? So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna say did select row at index path, and we're gonna say let controller be equal to um, this is gonna be dish detail dot instantiate. I'm going to say navigation controller dot push controller and animated is going to be true of course and then don't forget to set your controller dot dish is going to be equal to dishes and index path dot row all right let's go ahead and run it and see what we have So I click on a category four, I click on Indomie, and it works. All right, pretty good, Gary. Awesome. So this actually brings us to the end of this video. In the next video, we're gonna work on the list of orders. So um, when, well, when I'm gonna do the functionality, but when you click on the icon at the top right, right, it's gonna open up the list of order page where we see the name of the person that placed the order and the name. All right, so see you guys in the next video.